hello welcome to a new session so today we are going to create cucumber project using eclipse okay to create a cucumber project we need some of the softwares so like jars like jdk you need to download jdk from oracle sites then you and need to set the environment variable for java underscore home then you need a maven 3 that also you can download it from the google and set a environment variable for m2 underscore home you need eclipse you can take any versions latest version mars neo there are other new versions has come then we are going to install cucumber plugin into eclipse okay so let's take eclipse and we are going to create a cucumber project so first click on file new maven okay if you are not finding maven here in your eclipse click new others maven project next you can choose your workspace where you want to save this project so i have given my default workspace so i just give next then you you have to choose archetype like archetype quick start then you give your project name umber project then package name okay i'm going finish okay so the project has got created very quickly now first we need to install a cucumber plugin how to know a particular plugin is present or not in your system first go to window preference and check if any plugin is present or not if a plugin is not present it will not show here like cucumber it is showing a, a plugin is present in my eclipse even for the maven plugin is present even for the test ng plugin is present j unit plugins come default with the eclipse so in some of the eclipse if a maven or test ng plugins are not present you can install it now how to install any plugin go to help eclipse marketplace it will load the marketplace basically okay now you need to type number and search you'll get two plugins then in market multiple plugins are there but these are the two famous plugins cucumber eclipse plugin and neutral so install any of them all are good so i have already installed this so you see it's coming installed okay similar for maven and other m2e if you type m2e you will get the plugin for maven to eclipse plugins even for test ng you will also get it okay so i have already installed this you can see it installed okay same for test ng if you if you'll get it taking too much time okay so i'm not going to wait because it's taking too much time so i'm not going to wait i'm just clicking cancel so it's came here you can see this engine it is already installed okay now what are the jars are needed to work with cucumber so basically two jars are needed one is cucumber j unit another is cucumber java other than that you don't need any jars in lot of tutorials and all you'll see jenkin jars uh, cucumber jvm jars nothing is needed these two jars are enough so if you are going to work with j unit you'll use the cucumber j unit if you are going to work with test ng you'll use cucumber test ng now how to get this jars versions always use latest versions go to google and type this you'll get 
in Marvin repository you can directly go and you can click here and you can show it you can see it the latest version okay you can see it similar for the cucumber J unit uh, Java you can get it from here okay now since this J unit is old version so we are going to use the latest version so I will give 4.12 even the higher version has come but this is very stable version so we'll use that 4.12 now we need to add some dependencies so we'll add these two dependencies so what it will do it will download from the maven repository to your local system okay so we are not importing any jars and all so you don't have to create a folder where you have to keep all the jars at the time of uh, putting into the git or svn you don't have to do so you just put this project and wherever you run it will download from the maven repository but until unless you have jdk and maven present in the system okay so these two jars are good enough to start with my cucumber as i told you cucumber is independent framework it does not have any tightly coupled with any other tools like either you want to do with the selenium or with the LeanFT, or with uh, uh, stv client jersey client there's many tools so cucumber is independent so here we are just creating a cucumber framework we are not coupling with selenium or with uh, stv client okay okay now these two are done so our feature file will be present inside the source test java slash resources why resources because all our test related folders files configuration property files text files will be present in the resources and that to under resources slash test slash java slash as sorry source slash test slash resources so i'm going to create one resource folder so source slash test slash re okay created now under this i'm going to create one folder so folder is not coming i'll go here and i'll type see where is my general yeah general is here so i'll create a folder so folder name i'll give feature file good enough in this feature file i'll add some files so i'll add a file what file we are going to add? We are going to add feature file. So I'll give a name of feature file as first feature dot feature. Okay, so any feature file we have to create with a dot feature. So the moment we click, you see, since the plugin is there, that's the reason we are getting a cucumber design basically okay and these are the default things it is giving so we'll talk in more detail in next session how to create different type of feature files different type of the type of feature file is one but different type of scenarios with examples with stable with background okay with hooking with tagging so different type of feature files will create and will generate the step definition how we can access the uh, like our given when then annotations into the step definition so in next session we are going to know how to create a different type of scenarios in a feature file thanks for watching this video see you soon